Hi, I'm Todd, the nutritionist for Sassy Cow. On today's CowCast, we're going to talk about effective fiber and how we monitor that in the cow's diet. So when I formulate the diets for the cows at Sassy Cow, I'm really rosy, we make sure we take into consideration uh, something called effective fiber. And effective fiber is any particle in the diet that is one to three inches long. When there's enough effective fiber in the diet, the cows do a lot of chewing, and chewing is a good thing. Cows eat their biggest meal after they come back from being milked in the parlor. So twice a day they eat big meals. They go and lay down after that big meal and they relax and they regurgitate some of that feed. And they continue to chew that up, processing the product length and also exposing more nutrients. We call that chewing or cut. So how we monitor that is we run the feed through what we call a Penn State shaker box. You can see it's just a series of screens leading up to a pan and it separates off the sizes of all the feed. We want to sample in a few places so we can get a representative sample of the bump. So we'll take the TMR sample, dump it at the top of the particle shaker box, spread it around a little bit, and then we shake it. We go five times, turn it, go five more times, and then I go around a total of two times around the whole box. All right, so once we're done shaking it in the box, we're going to weigh it. We're just basically looking for the percentage of feed on each screen. All right, so these are, these are the results of our particle shaker box test. We have 10% on the top screen, 50 on the second, 15 on the third, and 25% of the feed ended up in the bottom. The top screen, this is where our effective fiber is going to sit, is 6 to 10%. So we are at our 10% top end of our goal, and um, Cows look good, the cows chew their cud, we're happy with that.